Okay, so we came into a pet store because there were two kitties, and we managed to find these, uh, I believe they're black bear hamsters, and they seem to be fighting over food, and they have two separate piles, and they keep, like, trying to, one's trying to fill up his pile, and the other one's trying to fill up his pile, and they keep moving them back and forth, and one's got his cheek stuff so full, it looks like... <laughs> So the one in the bowl keeps taking them over to the corner, yeah. but then the one in the corner keeps bringing them all back to the bowl. I don't know if you can take them all out now. And then the dude in the corner is like, "Ah, oh, stop that!" Oh, he totally just regurgitated all of them. <laughs> like you jerk! You think that's something to do? This little Daegu is kind of cute. Look, he wants us to take them home. Oh, there's a pile of them. Cool. Pet stores are bad for Josh and I. Yes. Oh, baby! The albino one. Oh, totally getting pawed in the eye. Okay, can't see. He looks so comfortable. He's like squished under the mall. Teddy bear hamsters like Rex was. Yeah. Here's Josh's friend. This cat. Really my favorite thing about this pet store is that they have all these cats that just wander around. So while we're supposed to be getting lunch and meeting my mom, ooh, instead we're playing with cats, which Josh is allergic to. Aww, looks like he belongs with us. Click, take a picture. Mm -hmm. They have all sorts of fun stuff here. Turtles. Oh, and the chinchilla. You have to see this, like, gigantoid chinchilla. Hey, bud. Make love to the camera. Aww. Oh, there's two in there. Yeah. yeah. Keep it warm. Just as we can't have a chinchilla because they take the dust bath. But his genius idea on a pet ticket is a talking duck. Yes. Yeah, I think we just need to find a good hypoallergenic cat. Or this little monkey thing that I found online that looks like a Furby. Okay, we're gonna go get some lunch.